Hey, what's going on? This is Sam at uh, FunkyPencil.com. Thanks for uh, joining me again on uh, this next video tutorial. Now, on the last one that I, I made, um, I showed you how to draw this easy chair in one point perspective. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice, easy exercise and uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. But it made me think, I thought, well, how could we uh, sort of add something else to this, this drawing here, just to kind of maybe give it a room setting? I thought about that and uh, I came up with uh, a new version of it which shows the easy chair in a set with a coffee table and a bit of a modern rug, a little bit of timber flooring and a, and a little side unit uh, with some kind of like weird looking light feature on. Um, so I thought well it, what would be great would be to just give you an idea of how you could draw that, how to add that to your, your already uh, existing drawing. So what I did was did a retrace of the chair, I put it onto uh, a fresh sheet of paper uh, and I'm going to show you how you go about adding in the rug, the coffee table and that side unit. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, uh, if you go back to the, my previous video, videos, you'll see how I established the vanishing point. Now, just for this uh, exercise here, if you've already drawn the chair, just simply get your set square line it up roughly with, uh, with the, the base of the seat and just kind of draw a line, a, a perspective line going up into the distance to that single vanishing point. And then from the top, in the chair, draw another line. Those are your two base lines. I'll just draw that a little heavier, we can rub that out a bit later. Okay, now just remembering with perspective drawing, all your horizontal lines and your vertical lines they always travel in one particular direction. For example, the horizontal lines will go from side to side, the vertical lines will go up and down. So side to side or left to right, and vertical lines up and down. It's your perspective lines, that the lines of the object that are going away from you into the distance. Those are the lines that are converging or joining together at one or maybe two or even three separate points. In our instance, we're just using single point perspective. So, bearing that in mind, we got a, a rectangular shape, the horizontal lines of the, of the rug goes in this direction. So we'll just, what we're just gonna do is just drop a little bit below the leg of the chair here, drawing a horizontal line. Let's extend the, uh, extend it out there, and just straighten up a little bit. And then you wanna move up just slightly underneath around about the area where the, the, the center part of the chair, that pivot point of the chair is. Draw another line. Again, horizontal line. Okay. So now we've got a back edge of our rug and a front edge of our rug. Now, the lines that are going away from you, the perspective lines, the, these, these lines here, which are going away from you, they are going to converge to that single point in the distance there. So roughly, Roughly towards the edge of your A4 sheet of paper, draw another line here. And then, picking back up onto that point, just kind of draw a line roughly just above that corner point of the chair. And that will establish the rear part of your rug. Don't, be, don't worry if you, if you go over the, the edge of the, the uh, the, the, the paper there, you can always uh, move your drawing around if you need to, uh, but loosely just put it in that position. Okay, so we've got, that's the shape of our rug. Now inside that rug, or on top of that rug, we're going to place our coffee table. And remember in my last video, uh, I don't remember, I think it was around video one, I talked about trying to figure out what kind of shape your, uh, your object would take. Um, if, whether, it, whether it was a, a chair or a table or a cylinder, try to figure out what sort of shape it would, it, you, could, you could wrap it around in. And I'm reckoning that this could sit in quite nicely into a box. So I'm going to draw my converging lines in, back to that vanishing point. The horizontal lines, left to right. And then just to get the heights, we're just, we're just doing this all by eye for the time being. I'm just going to, in fact, I'll, I'll start up at the front. I'll draw a line going up, vertical line, just below 
the front edge of that C, we just draw another horizontal line. And then at the far right, another vertical line. So now we have the box. What we'll do next is draw in the converging lines and then finish off drawing the box shape. Our copy table will now sit inside that box shape. Okay, so now that we've um, drawn that rectangular box, we just need to kind of fill in the actual copy table. So what I'm going to do is just start fleshing out the, the thickness of the box. And then just kind of draw yourself a semicircle into this area here. Best in using your bestest eye, just kind of Draw a semicircle. So the shape we're concerned with is just this sort of D shape, if you like, or sort of a sideways U shape. That's going to form the, the shape of the, the, the copper table. And then it's just a matter of transferring that shape, which is on that front face of the box, to the rear face of the box, and then joining the two together. So we're just drawing some guidelines with the thickness. And again. Just kind of draw in the curve. We just do the outside edge. And then using the perspective point, the vanishing point, we kind of draw the two, join the two sides together. Okay. And that gives us it gives us our coffee table. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is we just need to pick up on the, the sideboard which is going to be behind the chair here. So again, just using your set square or ruler, whichever you choose to use, draw a line which is going to be running behind the chair. Maybe a little bit further out. You just have to use your eye just to kind of judge where it is, what you think is going to look best. And then just ahead of the chair there, quick vertical line and then proportionately this is a low side unit so it's, it's going to be lower than the chair itself just kind of draw a line that's going to be our top line and then if we come back this way that's the front of the unit and then the horizontal lines of course left to right that gives us the top so the shape of the unit is like that. Okay, so now what we need to do now is this unit is running along this sort of imaginary wall at the back. And then we're just going to divide it off where the doors might be. Just sort of put one there. Not as I'm ghosting in into the inside of the chair as if the whole thing is like a skeleton wireframe sort of diagram that helps me proportion where the various components of that that, uh, that side unit is but I'm only concerned with this bit because here we're going to just add a little bit of wood grain which is there okay and then on top of here we're just going to draw a sort of a circle sketch in a circle this is a sort of a weird looking light bit in, which just sits on legs. Just sketch it in. Again, everything's going back to that vanishing point. So there we go, we have the basic shape of the rug, the copy table, the sideboard, and the light unit. Okay, so the whole thing on this, uh, on this rug we've got a bit of a circular design pattern which is situated about here you just roughly sketch that in because what we're going to do we're going to ink this in 
and then rub out all the pencil lines. Okay, and last two final elements are we have a, uh, there's a cup of coffee sitting here on a saucer. So we're just gonna sketch that in. Just put a handle there. And then we've got a kind of a curious looking almost like a, almost like an African mask. We can make it into a bit of an African mask if you like. I'm just kind of making this up really. Sitting on a stand. And that is our drawing. So all we need to do now is ink this in. Oh, before we do that, just one final thing. The rug and the chair and the coffee table and inside it, it's all sitting on a timber floor. So again, the lines which are going away from us all coming towards us. They're all going towards that vanishing point. So I'm just going to draw in some timber strips. Once we've uh, rubbed all the pencil lines out, it will look pretty sharp. Sort of a almost like a high glass C shaped, D shaped, U shaped uh, coffee table. And then what, why not just put something on the bottom here? We'll just put some books. I'm just going to drop in a couple of books here, sitting on top of each other. our books and then finally just overshot there I do this all the time when I'm working kind of overshoot onto my work it's not too not too you know not too much to worry about really because you can always use a bit of tipex or white out just to kind of get rid of that line or you can just leave it in you know I sometimes just prefer to leave it in looking for a more sketchy quality. Yeah, 
one sec. And then we just add the wood grain effect, which is here. And then we finally add in a timber floor. I'm using Stead Lamar's, and I'm sorry, it's like a fine liner pen. Yeah, Tri Plus Fine Liner, which gives a nice thin line. Going back to the vanishing points. Do your best to kind of line up with that point, but don't stress if you if you're not completely lined up. As long as it's going pretty much to that, that area, your eye is going to it's going to give the illusion of depth and space when you actually draw your lines going toward that point. Let's drop in the joints. Okay, looking good. And then finally, we'll just uh, add the rug in. So I'm just going to draw a line here. Back into our Stead Lamar's permanent marker. You can, of course, use other types of uh, um, drawing pens, you know, whatever you prefer. Um, these are quite cost effective. In in, uh, in using for drawing your lines. And then what I'll do then is use a uh, an M series version of it. And just kind of like just drop in some thick lines. This one's a little bit run out. I'll try another one. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay, now using, going back to your Stadler Fine, we just kind of kind of draw in a circular shape. And then start to block in a little bit. We're gonna give it a bit of a graphic quality now. So we're gonna block in some black into this rug. We're not going to fill the whole thing in black. We just want to give the hint of solidity to the rug. You might even want to just kind of like don't come right to the very edge. But kind of like do a little bit of a stipple detail. And give the illusion of texture. Even though you're blackening the actual shape. your hand up and down just to kind of get that feel. Yeah. Just drop 
back on to the fire pit. Bouncing back, back and forwards in different pairs to help you block the shape in. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to just kind of just define this, uh, this side unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a shadow line underneath the drawers just here. And then use a uh, S pen just to kind of thicken up that line a little bit. can add a little bit of texture to the, 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 the plinth area if you like. So I'm going to just going to do some vertical lines here. Okay, go to the chair. And then we'll do just a few more this side. To continue it through. Okay. Okay, and then what we'll do finally is just kind of add a little bit more definition to the books. And then we're going to put a big piece of text. I'm just going to put. Let's call it art, to, for want of a better word. Okay, so it's just a matter now of just getting rid of all the pencil lines and then dropping a little bit of colour on it, which the way I do this is I use chalk pastels, which is a nice way of working. Um, you need to buy a really good range with lots of colours in order to get the kind of um, the kind of uh, choice of colour if you want to sort of hint at colours um, on your piece of work. Smaller ranges don't have that, that many colours, so you're, you're stuck in what you can do. But the chalk passes is a great way. It's quite quick. Just gives a nice feel to the work. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit now. I've just got a little bit of a, an eraser here. Just going to clean it up. Get rid of the pencil lines. Including the vanishing point line.
nicely cleaned up. Okay, so all we need to do now is add a little bit of chopped pasta to this. Now I'm going to do this. So I'm going to use some tissue paper. So you can use regular um, cotton buds, which I think are probably the best thing to do, the sort of cotton balls. Or um, you can just use a bit of kitchen roll or even toilet tissue will do. Um, that will get you the effect that you need. So I've got a little bit here, which I'm going to start off by using a little bit of brown uh, pasta. As you can see there, I'm just going to take it, I'm just going to just like dash a little bit. Just in little areas here. Don't forget to leave, leave some white. Takes care of that. Just literally just little hints of color. Then we just continue on. We maybe just use a little bit of brown, so a little bit of timber, like a timber panel that sits inside the frame there. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of colour there, just a hint. And maybe use a little bit of brown again, just a touch, just to kind of add a little warmth to it. Then we're just going to drop a little bit of bluey purpley colour into this circle, just a touch. seem to have misplaced the actual green I was using earlier so I'm just going to use a little bit of this blue on the seat here. Okay and then we just need to get To the crown, or rather the pasta, and just kind of like rub it in with our finger there. And that's the basics of it, really. You know, you can you can kind of work into it a little bit more with a little bit more color, but I like to keep it quite easy and simple. 
bit more of a graphic in sort of style to it. So slightly dark in the timber colour here. Finish off, adding a bit of rain. Just kind of add in little bits of wood grain here and there. I'm using the black here, but you know, it, the effect would be better if you just used a very dark brown uh, crayon or something. And just a little bit more realistic. And just kind of uh, start beef up a little few lines here and there. And then finally, it's better to use a brown crayon, but I don't have one right at this very minute, so just draw a few vertical lines like this. Just give the idea of a glossy finish. And drop it up here as well. Touch a little bit of red on this. It's a little bit candy colored this visual, but you know, it gives you the idea of what you can do with, with pastels. There you go. Add a little bit of the metal glass finish onto here. So here, you can use a pencil or use a grey felt tip. Mark a pen. Just add a little bit of metallic is sort of finished. Really. There we go, looking slick. So that's it, so that's a basic way of just putting together an easy chair, a rug, a timber floor, and a coffee table with side, side units. And that just kind of pulls the whole thing together as one sort of, uh, almost like an interior shot of a, of a room. And you could add further things, you could add a wall behind here, maybe some glazing in the back, and that would complete it even more. So I hope you like this tutorial, um, tune in again, um, should have some more coming up in the future, uh, thanks for looking, thanks for watching, um, and that's it, I'm out.